Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going Q2 of the Buy Weekly Contest 138, Best Time to Buy and Sell Stock 5. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me in Discord, let me know what you think about this one. Honestly, this one, I don't find super interesting. I mean, I think if you haven't seen similar prompts before, um, this could be a little bit intimidating, right? And you may not need know how to do this. I ended up spending about 8 minutes anyway, just because I was typing it out really slowly. Maybe I could have done a little bit better, but honestly, um, I think, and I have a lot of videos on, not this one obviously, because this is a new problem per se, um, but you could look at best time to buy and sell stock probably one to four and then go through that first if you have trouble with this one. Go through one to four um, and if, if you struggle with those, that's fine. I have a lot of videos on each of those, a lot of them in more detail with respect to the dynamic programming. Um, and once you do all that, then this one just seems like a very simple extension of one of those. I forget which one is which, because there's like four of them, right? I forget which one is, has the interesting things uh, that's relevant to this one, but you should probably figure out all four anyway. I think they're all reasonable. But yeah, uh, the key thing to note, of course, is that N is just a thousand and K is up to a thousand ish, or well, 500, I think, but you know, small enough, and that is enough for us to do it. And here, this is my code. Um, the way that I think about uh, these things is that I like to split them out to different functions. You can, of course, have different quote-unquote functions embedded into one mega function, if you want to call it that. But, um, but you know. Uh, but basically, I have three different things. One is free, meaning that we have, we have free will. We can do anything, right? So that means that on day index, we have K trades or transactions left. And then while we have transactions left, then we use one of them or potential use of them to go long or buy a stock or we could sell or short a stock, right? And those are the two two um, scenarios. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and this one is that government long, we go to, we already short. Uh, we, oh, hmm. I think I labeled these for, uh, we already bought. Anyway, we have two functions. That means that uh, we already have stock, so we can sell. And then if we already short a stock, that means that we have to buy it back. Um, and you know, these are just the deltas on those. And then nothing happens. It's just do another day of free will. Okay. And then these two things are very basic, right? Uh, uh, yeah, we just have the three options here. We have the long, short, and doing nothing. Here, we already bought a stock. Or is that... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I... this is when we already owed a stock because we we uh, we sold it short we all owe the, the whatever stock so we have to buy it back right and that's basically the idea right uh, here we buy it back now or we buy it back in the future that's it T almost like a take no take thing right and we buy back it costs money of course and then now this is um, yeah we own the stock we want to sell it. And again, this is techno tech, same thing, right? And once you kind of go back, you go back to free will. That's basically why they have this like this. And yeah, and if you sell it, then you make money. So that's why you have this. And uh, otherwise, you, you don't sell it, you keep going, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, what's the complexity, right? Uh, we start off by having free will on the civil day and K transactions. Well, um, yeah. Index is just from zero to n, number of days. K is zero to k, right, from this k. So it's going to be n times k number of states. And each of those states we do o of one time, o of one space work. So it's going to be o of n times k, a pseudo polynomial algorithm for this problem. Um, and of course, uh, that's just for this function, plus the complexity for this function, which is actually the same, right? Index is o of n, this is o of k. Um, so O of N times K and same thing for cell and that's it. Uh, I don't know if I want to say this is a easy or straightforward one, but that said, if you, if you did the, uh, the previous versions, I think this is a very natural extension, especially if you have, uh, uh, uh the order ideas in your head in a good way. Like for example, I think the only difference between this one is, I don't remember all the details, like I said, but I think the selling short one is the quote unquote, the tricky part about it. Um, so but that's like a, you know, like if you're given enough time, you should be able to come up with it. I think the other thing that you might have been able to be lazy on, if we don't sell, if we don't uh, short a stock, right, 
is that um, when you only buy and then sell, you don't, you never want to buy and then not sell, right? Does that make sense? You never want to buy and not sell because you don't get your money back when you don't sell. So that means that in a weird way, that is always um, a suboptimal move to not buy and not sell. But when it comes to short selling though, you have to be a little bit careful because you could short a stock to get the money up front and then buy it back in the future. Uh, but so if you short and then don't buy it back, that is actually always better than, you know, buying it back, right? So, um, but so you have to kind of change your base case to accommodate for it. That's why I have this negative infinity here. And I guess here, but I forget which one is. Oh, you know, this one's the more important one because you have to buy it back. Um, and that's it. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me show you the, the free will function. The buy, can buy, can sell. And then just kicking it off. And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And you can watch me solve a live then contest now. UI in a way. Right, let me reopen these. Why, why is the code on the left? I, I probably have changed it, but it's still like not to. Uh, uh, wait, let me. Isn't there like a. Okay. I could do that. I could apply the full layout. Uh, okay, fine. I Q2, let's go. Uh, need code is so, I don't know. Like, they took something that kind of worked and it made it, like, not good for everybody. Anyway, uh, you're given an end your way price. Price is rise the price of the stock on the, in dollars on the IF day and in energy K. You're allowed to, to make at most K trend. What? Okay, energy away prices, where prices of I is the price of the stock in dollars. On the day, okay, I mean, that's fine. What, what, what does K mean though? Oh, you could make K a transaction. Normal, sell on a later day, okay, short sell. Oh, huh, okay. You must complete, okay, return. I mean, I guess this is just standard DP, right? Is it? Okay, yeah, that's right. I forgot about K, but still standard DP, right? Uh, we'll see if this times out just because lead code is silly, but um, but yeah, maybe I do do something like can buy index for the day and then K left, right? Um, okay. So then now if index is equal to N, then we just return zero. Not really doing anything. Um, a thousand square is actually a little bit tight on the code's silliness, so if I get a wrong end, or oh, time limit exceeded, or memory exceeded, I blame it on that. Anyway, so okay, so now we buy no buy, right? So um, buy is we can sell um, at index plus one. We made a transaction. What is a transaction? Is it one transaction to buy and sell, or? Okay, I mean, it, that's not how a transaction works in things, but okay, fine. Um, yeah, okay. Can sell plus <clears throat> it's a little bit awkward, I think. I might have to do another state, but can sell minus prices of index. So that's for if you buy. Um, and then the other one is if you you can just can in the future. Okay, I think uh, yeah, I yeah I get it. Okay, uh, free will maybe like a free action say. Uh, so it, it index is equal next is equal to n, then we return zero. Otherwise, we can either buy. So if so, we can buy. If we buy, then we do a can sell, right? So can sell index index plus one, k minus one, minus prices of index, we had that. Then sell is going to be can buy back index plus one, k minus one, uh, plus prices of index. This is short, long short, right? Uh, and then the other thing is just nothing, right? So then that's 
three of index plus one k, right? So here, then we just take the min of these three, right? So, uh, yeah, best is you go to, I guess just not doing anything, so let's just say zero, right? So best is you go f min from f max, best do 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 do, do right? Uh, I have to check that it, I have to check that we have transactions left, of course. Okay. And now, um, it's not can buy anymore, it's that, um, when to sell, right? Uh, the naming is a little bit bad, but we already, already shorted it. when to sell um complete buy it okay that's what i was gonna i'm curious about but um okay so when to sell right so to sell then we sell back the prices but then now we just go back to free right that means that we have a free choice or we don't so then that's just keep on and buying plus one okay right and of course there's no uh thing here so then now we have to do 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 It's a lot of typing, honestly. I don't think this is that bad. And we'll see, in the sense that it may still, um, let's actually set this to this, right? So we'll see because, um, <sighs> because lead code sometimes is just really silly about it on, on uh, running times. But this is not that bad. It shouldn't be that bad. All right, so this is buy back. So that means that, okay, we bought it back. Uh, plus prices of index. And then that's it. All right, so then now we go to three, zero, K. Um, 1640 okay so that's really wrong um have to double check i think we're off by one of the indexes but also trying to before i forget because for whatever reason that is what we have to do now okay, just one real quick because i might have typo okay so 16 how do i get 16 Hmm. All right. Today's, so I'm better than the result, which means that I'm doing something a little bit nuttier. Uh, cancel. Do, do, do. So this is just, yeah, I don't think. I feel like this cannot be that wrong. Short. Oh, I see. It's because we short without. Um. Because, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to, uh, I don't have time to explain it, but uh, I just say we. I guess you have to sell. So okay, so wait, what's the max? Yeah, okay, fine. Oh, still not work. Uh, um, because we short. Oh no, no. Oh, I get. I did it wrong. I mean, I guess we, it is nice to have it here, but. Um, it's a shift on this one because we're already shorted. The reason is because when we already shorted, we already have to we get the money from shorting it without buying it back, and that obviously is sub. That's really a great trade if you could do it. But um, yeah, all right. Am I fast enough? Uh, all right, let's go. If Lico gives me like a memory limit exceeded or time limited, you know, I'll be very unhappy. But okay, that time it looked okay. So, all right. So now we have. Two Thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm, today's contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.